Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an upsell in SamCart, which is going to make you more money. So stay tuned. If you didn't know or you're new here, I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing and online business. I'm a YouTube certified marketer and I've been able to create a full-time income from my online endeavors. And I wanna help you do the same so you can wake up and do what you love to do every day instead of something that you hate. So if that sounds like something that's interesting to you and something you wanna get involved in, then stay tuned. Now. If you haven't got SamCart already, please go to growonyoutube.com forward slash SamCart to grab it as that does help out the channel. Get a small commission if you go through that. Remember, I do not suggest anything that I don't use that I don't like. So if I'm suggesting it, if I'm linking to it, it's a good tool. It's something you should definitely check out. So you need SamCart to... <laughs> do what I'm going to show you in this tutorial because it is a Sam Clark tutorial, but let's just jump into it. Now in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to create your first product in Sam Clark. Now I'm going to show you how to create your first upsell and to create an upsell, you do need to create a product specifically for this upsell. So we're going to call this test upsell. And this will be the product that is added as an upsell and you can just add whatever price do whatever product description that really doesn't matter because no one's going to really see that and product pay payment frequency one so that's all great and we'll just save changes we'll just save changes here because we don't really need to do much over here all right i think i already showed you how to do all the bumps so i'm not going to show you how to do that but it's pretty similar to the upsell stuff i might show you how to do that while we're going through it because it's really really simple and easy but this is about you know the upsell stuff so in order to create an upsell we first you need to create a product for that upsell so specifically this is the product that will be up sold okay that's what you need to do then we will go to upsells and we'll go to specifically upsells and we can create a new upsell here and we'll name this test upsell and we won't do a description because it really doesn't matter. And we'll attach the test upsell to this product. So now we can actually deal with the upsell. So first of all, we have the upsell name, which you don't really have to change because no one's going to see that. But stuff like the accept button text and the decline button text, these are things that you need to you need to think about because these are things that people will actually see. So for example, if you want your button text to say add to my order, I would also say add to my order for and then add whatever the price this thing is so people don't accidentally order this. Because the way upsells work is once someone has purchased one thing from you, they get another opportunity to buy something else by just clicking without having to enter their checkout details and all that sort of stuff again. And you want them to know how much this is gonna cost and you want them to not do this by accident. Otherwise, you're just gonna get a bunch of chargebacks, a bunch of people asking for refunds, a bunch of people calling you a scammer, all that sort of stuff. So make sure that you have it clear 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 that they are paying for this this is not free and tell them exactly how much it is i'd also suggest doing a video for your upsell but that's obviously not 100 percent necessary although do a video do a video cuz so here we have the decline button text which is what they'll click if they don't want to get this so it says no thanks i don't need this right now so that's fair enough then we got show purchase confirmation what this does is Basically, the way upsells usually work, if I show you, we can go and check this out. The way upsells usually work is if you click the, the button, you're automatically charged. Like straight away, you're charged and you're sent to the confirmation page or the next upsell or downsell or whatever you have in this particular funnel. Now, with the confirmation, what happens is when you actually click this button, it actually asks you if you really want to if you really want to purchase this. So as you as you just saw, when I click this, now it's saying yes, no, and now I can say no, 
and it won't actually go through or I can say yes and then it will go through so that's how that works you do also want to you know add something up here or I know that I'm going to be charged when this happens something like that you want people to understand what's going on be very very clear very very specific and then here's the product that actually gets upsold when people purchase this so as you can see this is the test upsell that's why you want to create a new product because especially if you're going to be offering a deal on this upsell so like if someone buys one of your other products you give them a deal on this product you need to create a new product for that you can't just apply a coupon or something like that you want to create a specific new product it's, it's just way easier and way better now you can add a video to your upsell page which i'd highly recommend and you can just get a video url from youtube so you can create the video upload it to youtube and just fling that video url here I would make that video private and then you can select a position where the video url is going to be i would make it at the top so that when people get to the upsell they watch the video and then they can scroll down and either click yes i want to buy this or no i don't want to buy this you can click auto play but the thing with auto play is it's not going to auto play because this is youtube and youtube videos do not auto play in google chrome so if someone comes to your upsell page they need to click on the video if it's a youtube video in order to play it so it doesn't matter if you click auto play or not but i do believe that auto play does work with a few of the other providers the providers like wistia and vimeo and stuff like that and a great little hack if you didn't know is you can actually upload videos to teachable and get a wistia link from there i'm not going to show you how to do that in this video but it's possible if you want to get a wistia linker you don't want to pay that wild price that is very very possible so here you can add text to the upsell page so i can say yo special offer buddy then we'll save that and we'll see how that looks this should be the subheading no this is not the subheading basically you want the video position to actually be the bottom because this will only be under this text and you want the text to be first you want the text to be something like hold up your orders not yet completed you know i've got a special offer for you blah 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 that's what you want there and then you can set this to be a, a heading and we'll save that and then if we refresh this page then as you can see we can see the heading above the actual video which is what you want you don't want it under the video you want it above the video to catch people's attention with the heading and get them to watch the video and then maybe they'll either purchase or they won't and then you can add some more css if you want i don't really <laughs> I don't really deal with that and then you can save changes and that's basically done but we're not finished yet we're not finished we've got the first part of the upsell done but we're not finished you can also create a funnel for your upsell. So let's create a test funnel. And what this is, is you can create multiple upsells and downsells and whatnot. So with the funnel, what you can do is you can have the first upsell here. And then if someone either, if they don't purchase, then you can select a downsell here. And if they purchase that, you can select uh, another upsell. So this is what they'll get after they purchased the one before. And if they didn't purchase, they'll get the downsell. If they purchase, they get the upsell. If they don't purchase, they get the downsell. And you can do that five times. I wouldn't do it five times because it gets a little annoying for customers. <laughs> if you know, they can't just get to the end of their order. But if you've got that many products that you think will help your customer, then fair enough, go ahead and give them as many op uh, opportunities to purchase from you as possible. But this isn't something that we're going to deal with right about now because you need multiple upsells to do this. And it's kind of like a flow thing, basically. I just want to explain it to you really easily. In order to get the upsell on to your product so that when people purchase your product, they get shown your upsell, you need to go back to your products. So here we're going to go to our test car OTO. We're going to edit this and then we just want to go to upsells over here. 
and here we can select an upsell funnel so we'll select the test funnel that we created you need to create a funnel to actually apply your upsell to these products so that's why i created a funnel over there and my funnel is just the one upsell and then it's done wait this is an old thing it's just the one upsell and then it's done so if someone purchases this they will see our upsell and then if they don't purchase that they'll get sent to the confirmation page our order bump is uh something that people can quickly add to their order i have to kind of show you it in a uh, over here for it to make more sense i have to show you on the checkout page now what happens is there's like a little a little box at the end of here so let me add the order bump and we'll just add the test up so and we'll say blah 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 you'll get this for blah instead of that much great times that is simple straightforward copy with a bunch of gibberish instead of actual words but as you can see here is the actual upsell and now if we add that it becomes you know the order goes up because we're actually adding i mean order bump this is the order bump not the upsell so here's the order bump if we click that we actually get that added to our order and then we can go to the checkout if we don't click it it's not added to our order and we can just order this by itself so that's the order bump i like order bumps it's smart to have an order bump there because just give people the option to purchase more they don't need to purchase more but people will purchase more if there's the option there if the option isn't there they're not going to purchase more it's kind of like when you go to mcdonald's and they ask you do you want fries with that that is an order bump although that could be seen as an upsell as well but i'd see that as more of an order bump because it's added to your order an upsell would be more like do you want to <laughs> double size this and get something else or whatever do you want to get you know i don't know it would be making the order a lot bigger but this would be a, a quick order bump and that's how you do that it's pretty easy not too hard and then we just click save changes and now we've got an order bump and an upsell in some cart and bob's your uncle we are ready to go live and let people go through our funnel now if you haven't got some cart remember to go to growonyoutube.com forward slash sam cart it really helps out the channel if you go through that link and get a small commission. You can get 14 days free trial of some cart. Test it out. See if it's for you. See if you like it. See if you can make some money with it. I highly suggest it if you are someone who's really into marketing or you want to make more money with your business with less traffic. So you want to increase your customer lifetime value. Then some a great place to go. My question of the day before you go and before you go check out that free course is what is your upsell or order bump? Let me know what products you're going to be having to upsell or order bump. Let me know in the comment section down below. And in the next video, you're going to learn more about YouTube marketing and online business. So I'll see you there. Peace out.